let's see. Yeah, I think I'm recording. Sometimes it pauses a little bit. Anyway, we're on Genetics 5. And I have subtitled this Coat Color Genetics in Labrador Retrievers. We're going to find out some of the basic colors and then sometimes color isn't extended over the body in this case. Well, I was looking for something funny, of course. Here's a wife, it looks like, that says, Husband and Labrador Retriever Missing. She's got a cash reward for the dog. Yes. Dog lovers, those of you out there that are like I am, a dog lover, can understand that totally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, now we're on to the basic colors of Labrador Retrievers. And I've got this beautiful illustration here. And I want to explain it a little bit before we do like a Punnett square. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically a two locus system, or I guess you might say a two loci, L-O-C-I, that's plural. But I guess you could say it either way, a two locus system. There's B and little b, and then there's this E, which stands for extension. So let's start with this dog that's on the far left it's black dog and by the way it's got a black nose and when a dog has a capital B and then remember this dash means it could be a big B or a little B it doesn't matter and then E is for extension basically it says I'm going to extend the black gene through the body the coat in this case and so it's a black dog with a black nose. Now, a chocolate or a brown has to be homozygous little b, little b. But the chocolate is extended through the whole body. There's at least one capital E. That means we have a chocolate dog. I'm not sure if they sometimes call it liver color. They might, but we're going to say chocolate with a chocolate colored nose. Okay, then the third panel over from the left is a yellow Labrador Retriever. And what that means is there's no capital E's around. That means there's a B, one big B at least, but the color doesn't get extended because we have little e, little e, but because of this big B, we have a black nose. So, yellow dog, black nose. So, yellow dog, black nose. On the far right, we have a yellow dog, chocolate nose. Okay, so that's very interesting. So, those two right handed dogs, these two over here I'm pointing to with my laser pointer, they're yellow, but one has a black nose, one has a chocolate, sometimes people call it liver colored nose. Of course we have different illustrations to try to bring the point home. I'm going to enlarge this. So it kind of Reiterates what we said before. There's two ways to get yellow dogs, but they always have little e, little e in both cases. If they have at least one big B, it's going to be a black nosed yellow dog. If they don't have any big Bs, it's going to be a brown nose, and sometimes people would call that liver. Now, whenever you do have a capital E in the genotype, that means I'm going to extend the color you tell me throughout the body. And if there's at least one big B, like on the far right, it says make a black dog and make it totally black and the nose and all the fur, the coat. So, 
black dog extended all through the body. Here we don't have any large bees, so that's automatically a chocolate, but it's extended. So we have a brown dog with a brown nose. A little hard to keep track of, but once you understand the interaction, you know, the epistatic interaction, if it's little e, little e, there's no extension. So, of course, found another graphic for you because the more the better. And let me just get that centered and I'll point out a few things. And then, of course, you can always pause. You're probably getting tired of me saying, hey, pause this, take notes, whatever. But we have two dogs, the sire and the dam, that are both heterozygotic. That means big B, little b, big E, little e. Now, I don't exactly like the graphic because one of, let's say this is the sire, then this is the sperm, and then this dam should be over here. But it ends up being one fourth of the sperm are big E, big B, big E, and then little b, and you can read it as well. And then I, what I like about this is it's showing you the genotypes and the phenotypes of the offspring if the sperm fertilizes that egg. And you got to remember that. So anyway, these are black dogs with black noses, chocolate dogs with chocolate or brown noses, okay? And then, of course, we have four yellow dogs. And I probably should say, if you ever have a yellow lab and you breed it to another yellow lab, they do breed true. And that means yellow dad made it to a yellow female mom. All the puppies will be yellow because they all have little e, little e. I'm pointing to the graph here. So you'll never have any big E extension of any color. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Okay. And maybe what I should say is on the dogs here that have at least one capital B, their nose will be black. And only this one down here will have a chocolate nose, sometimes called liver nose. Okay, now you know how technology advances, it's amazing. There is a company that if you do a cheek swab and send it in for your Labrador Retriever, you can get its genotype backed. Okay, the cheek swab is like a swab of the oral cavity on the cheek side. Okay, so you're going to get some nucleated cells that way and I do like the way the company depicted this and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit to show you their system and then I'll decrease the size okay here is a figure off their website that after you get their results back there's really these nine possibilities of genotypes and they're color coded on top, and I really like this. So let me walk you through this. A black dog, totally black, it's got large B, large B, and the little blurb up here at about the two o'clock position talks about nose color. <laughs> so black dog, nose black. Okay. Now, this one over here, the second one going along this row is. A black dog, but it's got at least one E, little e, with a black nose. Okay, and you can see the genotype down here, so you can pause this and read it. Black dog with some chocolate gene, that means it must be a little B in its genotype, but it's a black nose. Okay, black dog, black nose, but it's got a little e in it someplace 
And then here is a yellow dog because little e, little e means don't extend any color. So it's going to be yellow, but it's got some black jeans and it's got a black nose. Yellow dog with a black nose, but it's got some of the brown in it, right? Here is a yellow dog with chocolate nose and it's got some chocolate jeans so that's the BBEE -E, this right here all lower case so then here we got a chocolate dog that's extended and it's also got a chocolate nose so very interesting great way to depict that the only thing I wish they would have done is on the side over here on the left if they would have also depicted that because this is capital B capital B capital E E and that's the same as this so that would be the same as this so if you breed two dogs with that genotype and so in the middle here we're saying if we breed these dogs what are we going to get all black and you can read it yourself but kind of neat and of course every litter is not going to be like this. This is going to be over the long run, what are you going to get? <clears throat> now, when there is a case of all black, that's not going to be altered. But let's say here, three quarters black, a quarter chocolate. Well, that might be altered over time, right? So, a neat depiction. And then the other thing I want to point out is yellow breeds true right there all yellow and if you go back I said if you have a l yellow lab and breed it to a yellow another yellow male let's say if you have a yellow female and breed it to a yellow male you're always going to get yellow neat okay here's some of those links to the fine illustrations I used great pretty straightforward really when you study it and look at it yes the only dog that has a different color nose would be the yellow dog it's either black or chocolate right okay see you next time